Hello, freak bitches. Who can whip those people up and get on their frequency. And then there's smart people that could be manipulated. They can be manipulated once they attach themselves to an ideology. Yep. Like we were talking about like people on the left that are avoiding all the craziness about Hillary. Like you had a quote that I really like that's on your Twitter. You know, that if like Hillary was a man and that had done uh, the, all the same things that she... Like, what is the quote? What is it your exact... I, say, I said uh, if Hillary was a male Republican with the exact same voting record, all of her supporters would hate her with a passion. Yeah, it's true. And it's 100% true. 100% true. I mean, it's not, this is not controversial These in are, any way or shape or form. Hillary is, is, you know, I mean, in the stuff I was saying before, but she's, she's like courting the left. She's courting people who are supposed to be liberals. And you'll go, she's supported every single war of my lifetime. Every single war. Well, not and only they, that. And they can get past that. She didn't support gay marriage up until 2013. Even their pet issues. Yeah, it's she's she's a weird one, man. She's a really, really weird one. That fucking Libya thing. We came, we saw, he died. <laughs> <laughs> like that's okay. Like, are you are you kidding me? What you remember when uh, the fucking Vermont guy screamed? I know we're gonna go all the way to the house. Ah! Howard Dean. Howard Dean. And that one yell did him in. Like, that's it. They saw yeah. that and they're like, fuck this guy. We we came, we saw, he died. Ha, 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 ha. Like, that doesn't, you don't think that lady's fucking crazy? <laughs> you don't think that lady's fucking crazy? Oh, I mean, you, you're down for her? That is that is a completely an ideology thing. You're, you, she's she's on your team. You're going you're gonna to go along with it, just like it's a religion, just like you're... You're subscribing to some predetermined thing. It's, it's it's just it's weird for me to see. First of all, it's weird that she wants to be president. Like, aren't you old? Like, you're an old lady. How much got, energy do you have? You got a ton of money. You just had your first grandkid. You Where's got, your like, perspective? Yeah. Like, what are you trying to do? You're trying to make history as a woman. Is that what it is? I mean, do you want to just like get back at your husband for getting his dick sucked in 1991 or whatever the fuck it was? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't even think it's that. I think it's it's. I mean, who knows? Who's I, you know? I'm not in their head, but I, I think these people are like power brokers that just want more and more of it, and it's a real. It is probably a thrill, unlike anything we could imagine, to I have guess. that much power, and they've they've tasted a little bit of that, you know. Yeah, I just it seems to me that she's like so old. That she would just want to chill, you yeah. know. It just doesn't make any sense to me. Yeah. She's she's an old lady. Like she doesn't have good health. Like that was the other thing they concerned with. She had some health issues, right? Yeah. yeah. Didn't she have like concussions or something? Mm -hmm. Yeah. There How was, did she it was, get hit in the head? I forget what it was, but Bill it was when beat the fuck out of her. Imagine that. <laughs> it turns just... out that Bill just wailed on her, and she wants to keep it <laughs> quiet. Bill fucking KO'd her. Head I mean, it her. wouldn't. He's been accused of violence. Wow. She has suffered from fainting spells since at least 2005. In that year, she passed out, presumably sober, while giving a speech. In 2012, she passed out yet again and suffered a concussion. Holy fuck. Presumably so, sober is something that if they ever have to say it, it's just not good. Yeah, you got issues. We're but, always presumably sober. I'm not usually presuming. So. But, <laughs> All right, you know but, what? Know. But this idea that she fell asleep and, and hit her fucking head. Like, when people fall and hit their head, it's one of the worst things about getting knocked out is not getting punched in the head. It's you falling down and getting hit in the head with the earth. Yeah. Like, their their heads bounce off the ground. That's, like, a big issue in street fights and stuff. When you watch someone get sucker punched, they well, fall down and their head gets bounced off the curb. And I think people who have, like, epilepsy and things like that, like, that's the big oh, yeah. fear of what happens is that you end up cracking your head mm -hmm. on the ground. It's not just yeah. the, the uh, seizures. seizures. Um, yeah, there's... There's something, I don't know, I, you know, Hillary Clinton said recently, and this would probably be one of the tactics she tries to use against Trump, but she said something along the way, she goes, you know, I just, I, I don't know if he's the type of guy we would want having control of the nuclear codes. And it's just like an interesting thing to look at where you're like, how crazy is it that any one person has control of those nuclear codes? Like, we're just counting on one person to not snap. To not kill the whole world. To just, yeah, hopefully you don't ever just like, I've had enough, I'm fucking... Yeah, it's the the cigarettes and coffee thing are the staples of the alcoholics, right? Mm, yeah. A lot of uh, AA Red people Bull. enjoy those right. cigarettes and they enjoy those uh, those coffees. But you know, in and their eyes, yeah, but in, but in their eyes, they feel like they've got the alcohol part under wraps now because this stuff just kind of keeps them going, and this stuff is not ruining their life. Right, I get it. A, a lot of alcoholics use cannabis the same way, um, and uh, that's not really 
uh, accepted by AA. So mm. I know a lot, a lot of people who have um, kicked their alcoholism by moving more towards cannabis. But again, uh, within the AA community, that they don't like that. That's you know still considered a drug. So, but you can get addicted to anything. You know, whether it's set porn or Big Macs or, or weed, you can get a, a psychologically addicted to anything. But Jamie, d- didn't the um, guy who created um, Alcoholics Anonymous, didn't he have positive experiences with LSD? <clears throat> That'd be funny. That would be I feel like I feel like he did. Acid's the only thing you're allowed to take, guys. Well, I feel like I feel like uh, that was something that happened, like maybe even uh, after. Well, I don't want to speak out of school. Yeah. Yeah, am I right? Yeah, so what the fuck? Well, that's why the government needs Alcohol- to lift testing on, <clears throat> on, on a lot of things, so we know. Scroll that up, please. Alcoholics Anonymous fo- uh, founder uh, believed LSD could cure alcoholism. Wow. Well, you're seeing so much research now in psychedelics that clinics are opening up. There's a clinic in, in L.A. for, for ketamine, you know, wow. and you're seeing MDMA clinics opening so, up. Look at this. What most of them do not realize is that the program's co-founder, Bill Wilson, credited the psychedelic drug LSD for alleviating his alcoholism and believed the drug could be used to treat others as well. Holy shit. So those friends of Bill, they didn't get all the information. <laughs> it's kind of like the mushrooms. friends of Bill, if you're in the Alcoholics Anonymous, right? That's what they call themselves? Like yeah. friends of Bill? That's like the code? Bill W. But they didn't get that experience. Kind of like the mushrooms huh. and uh, quitting cigarettes. Yeah. Do you, but do you think they tell them? I never heard this before today. How could you not tell these people? Wilson first became, be, uh, began experimenting with LSD in Los Angeles at the Veterans Administration back in 1956. But after taking his first hit of acid, he realized that it was not the aspect of terror that could help remedy alcoholism, but rather the insight one could attain from stepping into a world of simulated insanity. Whoa. Wilson believed that using the LSD could help the alcoholic discover a power greater than ourselves that, in turn, could restore us to sanity. However, he was adamant that using acid to combat the demons of alcoholism was not something that he could that one could expect from a single dose. <laughs> He's like, more research is required. <laughs> and snacks. Wow. Hmm. That's interesting, man. That's interesting. Yeah, psychedelics, I think, as we experiment with them, like medically, are going to reveal some secrets okay, to but our this consciousness. Guy's, this guy's a heavy-duty tripper. Is they're going further down. He was tripping with Aldous Huxley. Like, this guy, this isn't like one experience he had. Interesting, there's documentation that indicates Wilson was involved with many supervised LSD trials, including some with psychology, uh, psychologist Betty Eisner and Brave New World author Aldous Huxley, which led him to believe that the visions and insights given by L- LSD could create a large incentive, at least in a considerable number of people. Huh. And, and so Huxley this was, was like a leader in... Yeah. in Psychedelic. They left, left this out of the AA pamphlet. How do they? How could they leave this out? That's crazy. Because this seems like this had to play a major part in this guy's ability to kick alcohol. <laughs>